welcome to Modeling Misadventures. Now in a recent video I showed this space memorabilia cabinet that has a whole collection of different things in it but one of the things in it is this model of the Saturn V rocket. Now this is an airfix kit in 144 scale and I've always liked this rocket it's the one that took the astronauts to the moon but I fancied something a little bit more ambitious. So I decided to have a look online and see what was available. And I found a 1 60th scale model of a Saturn V that can be 3D printed. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the rocket and how it finished up. Now this model is available on Thingiverse uh, and it's actually free and it's incredible and it is a monster and here is the first stage of the Saturn V rocket and I'll just show you how big it is so that is the first stage and you can see at the bottom it's got five massive F1 engines and it's all printed in black and white uh, the letters were printed in red and you can see it's actually really pretty realistic the only part that I painted on this was the top of the uh, oxygen tank so that is stage one and you can see how big it is next up is stage two this is also pretty big and this also has five engines on the bottom. These were called the J2 engines and they were there in a little cluster. And again, this is printed in white and black PLA with some red lettering. And again, the only bit that was painted was the top of the uh, fuel tank there. And stage two connects to stage one with this adapter here. And it's quite nicely engineered. This will wrong way around. This will go on here and it actually goes into some little slots and locks into place. And that is how the stage two is connected to stage one. The next part is stage three. Now you can see the rocket's getting smaller as it gets towards the top. This one has a single J2 engine on it. I did paint this, paint this part green to make it more realistic. And you can see that this is narrower than the stage one and stage two. And to allow it to connect, there is this uh, connecting ring. And this again slots on here. Uh, with some little slots if I can find them and locks into place like that so that is stage three sitting on top of that stage three is this part which is the lunar module enclosure and this was the part of the rocket where the uh, lunar landing module was put and it was in here with its legs retracted and the top of this section opens out and when the rocket was in space these would open and that would allow the lunar module to be extracted that actually happened when the rocket was on the way to the moon. So this 3D printed kit comes with a lunar module and it's actually for a 3D printed model pretty good. It's fairly uh, detailed, it's got lots of printed parts. The ascent module separates from the descent module. I used a, a couple of magnets just to hold the two together. And the landing legs do actually move in and out. So 
So it is possible to display this model with the lunar module actually inside the the uh, lunar module enclosure like that. So there we have it. Now I had to I had to paint this. I painted the bottom bit gold as it was on the original and I painted the top bit silver uh, and the black parts. This was actually printed in white plastic and I've, I've painted it all. So it's not quite as detailed and precise as say a, a an Airfix or a Revell kit um, but I think for 3D printing, it's actually pretty good. At the top of the rocket is the Apollo Command and Service Module. And this again comes out very nice off the 3D printer. You can see the, the service module here, the silver bit with its big bell engine at the bottom. And then at the top, the Apollo capsule or the command module and this comes off again I just put a little magnet on the bottom of it to hold it on but the Apollo space capsule again is pretty detailed you can see it's got panel lines uh, a hatch and windows engraved onto it uh, and even the docking mechanism at the top that allowed the Uh, Apollo command and service module to dock with the lunar lander in that configuration. So very nice details and uh, comes out really, really well. Right at the top of the rocket is this thing, which is the escape module uh, or the escape mechanism. This sits on top of the Apollo command and service module like that and in the event of some kind of failure during takeoff or the early phase of the flight these little rockets here would fire and they would pull the command module away with the astronauts in it and that would allow them to abort the mission so again that's printed printed very nicely and it all fits together on the command module. Now I haven't actually yet put this rocket together and stood it up as a full stack. Uh, I'm going to do that now and show you what it, lo what it looks like and I'll warn you it's big. So here it is stood up in front of a door and you can see it's nearly the, the height of the door. And we're going on a closer look. And there it is, the mighty Saturn V. So I think this gives you a pretty good idea of the scale of this rocket. It is just about a little bit taller than I am, and I am six feet one. It's a monster. Now you can see from the size of that model that it's actually not very easy to display. I don't think Sarah would be very happy if it was stood upright in the corner of the living room. So I'm going to display it horizontally, and that's the way that it's displayed in the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And I've made these little stands on the 3D printer. They're somewhat similar to the ones that they use on the real thing in the Kennedy Space Center. And uh, I can't design things on um, for 3D printing. I, I just made this on the slicer using various shapes and fastened them all together. Um, but they've come out pretty good and it allows you to support the, the rocket in these gantries. So that's how I'm going to display it in the modeling room. Just to add a final bit of uh, realism, I printed another couple of things uh, on the 3D printer. 
One is a, a little bit of a moon base, and this is what the lunar lander is going to sit on. And I also printed off and painted a couple of Apollo astronauts. That could be Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. So when I display this, I'm gonna have those on the moon base stood next to the lunar lander. So I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that uh, very large model of the Saturn V. Um, all that remains is for me to show you a few close-up pictures of the finished model as it's displayed in the modeling room. And with that, I'll say goodbye and see you next time on Modeling Misadventures.